In this past video, I recommended a DEXA scan. I had it done myself and in several other videos, I have mentioned it as well. Why is it important? Because you need to know what your lean muscle mass is, you need to know what your visceral fat is, your subcutaneous fat, your overall fat percentage, what your bone mass is. These are the metrics that you need to get a good reading at where you're at now so you can decide where you want to go. That is crucial. Having a normal weight scale is pretty much useless, okay? I do not recommend that. I don't even have one in my own home and I won't ever. I want to know what my overall body composition is so I can improve upon it. And with every single client I do, I don't start working with them unless we know what those body metrics are. In today's video, I am going to give you something that's just as effective at giving you the body metrics as a DEXA, but it's going to do so at less cost. It's going to be more convenient and more accessible for you. And we're gonna be able to get you off to a good start because I'm Andrew Colasco and every week, I am your very own personal longevity coach. I'm here to give you the no BS insider info on how to move the needle on your future health. Whether you're 50s, 60s, 70s, or 80s, or 90s, I wanna give you the best future years out in front of you. So every week, I'm giving you the modalities, the protocols that will move the needle and optimize and maximize your health, including your lean muscle mass, your VO2 max, your strength, and your overall body composition and your overall metabolic health and giving you the best sense of overall well-being that we possibly can. But before we get into anything else, I need you to hit that like button. Let me know that you like this content as well as leave a comment after you have watched so that I know if you like this, if you want more content like this, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so that you never miss one of my future videos. If we don't monitor the key metrics of your body composition, then how are we gonna know if you're progressing? How are we gonna know if we're moving you forward? How are we gonna know if we're getting you that health span and that longevity that we are aiming to get for you? Well, you can't do it on anecdotal information, right? Anecdotal information, that's your scale. It's looking in a mirror, it's using skin calipers, stuff like that, okay, that's useless. What you need is something that's going to give you really good hard data to build your future plan with your training and your nutrition to move you forward in the best way possible. All right, so we're going to do an unboxing of the Yum Health Smart Body Composition Analyzer. Let's look at the metrics it can give us for our body metrics, our body composition. These are so important and much more valuable than any weight scale okay? as well. BMI that you get at your annual checkup with your doctor, that's useless as well because I would be considered obese on that. So it's really not helpful. And I know so many people, when they have a scale, they get over just worked up about it. You know, they get over focused on it. They get stresses them out because they want to keep their body weight the same. But body weight isn't what matters. What matters is what's inside. You got to know what your Lean muscle masses, you got to know what your subcutaneous fat is, your visceral fat, you got to know, you know, your overall body composition. This is the stuff that matters. Your bone density is super important. So we're able to break that all out with the smart body analyzer. Let's look at some of the things here. So it's going to tell you your body fat percentage. But beyond that, what's more important, you have a subcutaneous fat reading and a visceral fat reading. What's the difference and why does it matter? Subcutaneous fat is the fat that's just under the skin. Okay, it's really not problematic, okay? It's nothing to be concerned about, but your visceral fat is. With your visceral fat, that is so important to know that. That is basically when you start to become insulin resistant and the, the uh, fat just kind of, it doesn't, insulin, glycogen, it, the storage doesn't have anywhere to go. It kind of spills over, it goes into your organs and or your heart, your liver, other important organs and causes major problems. We do not want that. Now, we've got muscle mass too, so that's awesome because what makes you insulin sensitive, right? Instead of insulin resistance, which puts you towards diabetes. Insulin sensitive means that you store glycogen, you store, you get the insulin and it works through your, your lean muscle mass, okay? You need that to recycle the glycogen and push it through so that you are getting proper metabolic health and that's what my channel is all about is proper metabolic health for you 50 plus men so we also want to know that bone density lean muscle mass like i mentioned and we want to break out that visceral fat because it has a problem these are the big 
components, the big measurements on here to see if there's anything else that really, oh, metabolic age. Just uh, note about that. That's not the same as an epigenetic clock. They use different measurements for that. Now, when it, we get into the box here, we are gonna open it up. We're gonna check it out and see what's inside. Dun, dun, dun. The Hume Health Smart Body Composition Analyzer. Wow, that is a pretty looking unit. That's slick, okay. I'm kind of into the decor that's got a little bit of uh, modernness to it, a little bit of style to it, and that's gonna fit in just fine. With that in mind, I wanna introduce you to the Hume Health Smart Body Composition Analyzer. Now with this, you're gonna be able to get all the metrics that you need. I won't work with one of my clients unless they get one of these. Before I used to say we had to have a DEXA done, but now we've got this. This is more accessible. It's gonna be easier for you to be able to use on an ongoing basis so we can keep track more in real time rather than waiting you know, six months or a year to get a DEXA done and then looking back and see how we're doing. This is gonna give you the benchmarks, so it's gonna also give you the motivation. I, Cause you know, I don't do the before and after photos. I mean, it's important that you have aesthetics, yes, and body overall body composition will achieve that. But we want at this age in your 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, we gotta be looking at your bone mass, we gotta be looking at your muscle mass, your percentage of fat, and your overall metabolic health. And this is gonna allow us to do that. So we want this in place because, okay, I gotta point this out because I've seen some other fitness influencers, they're saying, hey, this is gonna get you this, and you're gonna have this kind of fitness level, and you're gonna be able to lose fat. Now, you can't do that without doing the work, okay? Some people in the society, they think they don't have to lift a pinky to have good health, but you have to do the work, okay? This is to keep track so that you can set goals and aim towards them and hit them. That's the purpose of this. Okay, so I got the app set up, it was very easy, which is good because, you know, being 58, I don't know, I'm a little technophobic. So it was extremely simple. So that was relief. I'm going to step on the Yume Health Smart Body Analyzer and we are going to check things out. Wow, 200 pounds. Okay. Yeah, I've lost weight, but I know I got lean muscle mass and that's what counts. So I'm letting it do its thing here. Okay, I believe it's God's reading. So now I'm gonna check the app. One of the things that really stood out to me with the Yume Health Smart Body Analyzer is that it is within 3% accuracy of the medical grade DEXA scan. You know how bullish I was on the DEXA scan, but this is something that you can have in your own household and you can keep track of on a more consistent, regular basis and not at the same cost as a DEXA. Here's some high level things that I found when I was going through my own body metrics, and that is that my metabolic age of course, that's on basal metabolic rate. And I talked about that so we can keep that in context. But it shows us 43, which, you know, I'm really happy with. Obviously, I said we want to be 10, 15 years under our chronological age, chronological age of myself being 58. So we can see that I'm 43. So happy with that, as well as my skeletal mass index. So that's showing really well percentage wise because. You do not want to fall at this age, right? It is so important that you have strong bones so that that's going to keep you healthy going into your later years. As well, you can see what my body fat percentage is there. It's only at 11%. A sweet spot for men is between 11 and 14%. You'll see last autumn when I had my DEXA done, it was at 13.8%. So I've been able to keep in that range. I've improved upon it. This is the same kind of thing that I understood with the DEXA. I knew what I needed to do. I wanted to get it down a little lower and I was able to with having body metrics to aim for and a certain, you know, goal in mind. And that's how it's going to help you too. Okay. And let's look at an example of where I don't believe some of the fitness influencers and what they're using out there is helpful. And I don't think it's going to benefit you at all. Let's not get so focused on that weight. Like I said earlier, we want to know what your body is made up of. Further to fitness influencers that were just talking about weight and you know looking good later in three months, you could lose a bunch of weight, but guess how much lean muscle mass you're losing? Well, you'd be able to tell with this, but that isn't good, okay? When you're in your 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, sarcopenia sets in, okay? That is the deterioration of your muscle mass. That's gonna happen naturally, so you need to keep it up. So losing weight and having that be your focus is not ideal. Plus, 
visceral fat, okay, that is serious. That will lead to all kinds of health problems. And this is able to tell you what your visceral fat is so that we can work and move the needle in that direction to get rid of that for you. Because a 10-year observational study of 4,500 people showed that those that had a low muscle mass had a 40 to 50% greater mortality risk. We've got to do all we can to forecast in the future so that we know where we want to be in six months, one year, five years, 10 years, 20 years out. And this is going to help put us on that right course. And I know you've heard this before, but failing to plan is planning to fail, okay? We need to know where we're at so that we can move forward. But along the way, like I said, a lot of people, they obsess over the weight scales. I don't want that for you. Trust in the process. Know where you are right now so that you can move methodically forward towards your health goals. We can't get too stressed out. There's a psychological effing with your mind and you don't wanna to get too caught up on that. Trust the process, put a plan in place and work towards it. One of the things that I find most beneficial about the Smart Body Composition Analyzer is this. You can practice P4 Healthcare. What's P4 Healthcare? I've mentioned in other videos, but it is personalized, all right? So nothing can be more personalized than this. This is your own body metrics, okay? We're not using some national average. It's participatory. You're able to be involved in that involvement of it. Preventative, right? We're able to look at these issues. We're able to look at where we wanna go helps with that. And finally, it's predictive, okay? So we can say, okay, that's, we can put in our goals in it and we can say that's where we want to be, that's where we want to go, and that's where we want to end up. All for those P4 healthcare, you're going to get it with the body analyzer. Right below in the description, there is a link that will take you to Yume Health so you can look at getting your own smart body composition analyzer. Thank you for being here this week. If you found this information helpful, then smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment. I read all of the comments, okay? That helps me understand what it is that is useful to you and will give you the most benefit. Else, all oh, this other men in there, they are leaving comments and insights and knowledge about their own experiences and insights, and it's helping other men on this channel. So it's a very vibrant community, please, comment in there. Thank you for being here this week. I appreciate being of service to you every week. I'm here to give you the best health span information that I can to help you give the best future years that you deserve. See you again next week.